Child Exploitation and Online Protection Center, a child protection watchdog in partnership with the University of Birmingham, has released a research that suggests that children are increasingly being groomed over the internet for the sole purpose of online sexual abuse. The internet is good, it's not bad at all. The internet is open, the internet is cause, cause for creation, and the, the internet is a bunch of knowledge where people can get knowledge. But on the other hand, it has its challenges. The challenge is because it's too open, nobody controls it, nobody regulates it, so it's open to anybody. Anybody can visit any site, anybody can put on any, just upload anything on the internet. You see pornography, you see child abusive materials on the, on the net. So it's a great challenge to parenting now. The research says there were 1,145 reports sent to them in 2012 relating to incidents of online grooming. The report adds that only 7% of these related to attempts to meet a child offline, a drop from 12% in 2011. This is a pointer that online sexual abuse is commonly conducted via webcams, instant messenger applications, and social networking sites. This, according to Marilyn Cade, an internet strategist, is something to worry about. We have a world where our youth are used to being online all the time. And we have to teach them the same kind of what I'm going to call digital hygiene that we as parents teach our children when we allow them to cross the street. We have to teach them what's risky, we have to teach them to be self-responsible. And when we do that, and we teach our children to be discriminated, don't talk to strangers, whether they're online or offline. The president of the Nigerian Internet Registration Association, NIRA, lends her voice stressing the need for a legislation that protects the Nigerian child on the cyberspace. If you don't have control over what, what your child sees or where your child visits in terms of sites, then you have problem in your mind. No, you don't. We have, we have had parents, uh, children uh, go off control because they, they watched some videos online, they have games, video games that change their way of thinking, even their attitude to their parents. So it's a great challenge. What is your organization doing to ensure that the Nigerian child is protected online, just as we have um, leg legislations that cater for children specifically? As of today, we have produced a framework on child online and that framework is available. We have presented it to NTA, we have presented it to NIDA, we have presented it to NCC, we have presented it to National Security Advisors Office. So we are of the opinion that there should be law. There should be policy framework, there should be law, there should be legislation on child online protection. Our children must be protected. They are predators. There should be somebody that is interested in knowing those that normally rape children. What is apparent is that parents and caregivers can make that vital difference in whether or not a child becomes a victim of this ruthless predators online. It's high time we began to talk to young people and educate them on staying safe online, just as we do about danger, drugs and other vices.